A running woman is making a brief stop at her parents' home before hitting the road again. She's fresh off winning a national opera competition, and I got a chance to hear why today. I got my own private operetta of sorts at the Cascade Theater, and that's quite a privilege to hear an award winner from competition at the New York Metropolitan Opera. Redding's Sidney Mancasola did just that recently. She started playing the violin at two years old, but when her teacher died, she switched to singing, eventually melding classical music with acting in opera. And I loved how grandiose it was. I loved that the stories were, you know, the most dramatic stories that have ever been told. And I loved that um, the music could just really rip at your heartstrings and, and make you feel something. Um, I, I love the passion of it. She says the Met National Council auditions are kind of like American Idol. Thousands of singers start in district competition and get whittled down to a handful of finalists in front of a packed house in New York. There was something magical about stepping out on that stage. It was like, I think it, it was, you know, you can get nervous for a lot of different reasons and a lot of different things. And definitely the idea of singing in New York in front of all those people had its own set of nerves. But I think it just felt like, you know, I don't know when I'm going to be here again. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to forget about the nerves for now and just enjoy this experience. A graduate of the Academy of Vocal Arts in Philadelphia, Sydney's got several performances lined up and plans on continuing to develop her career. My goals really are just to sing at the highest level possible. If I can sing till I'm 60, I'll be happy. Sydney says her career got a solid start in Reading, thanking everyone from her parents and family to her first violin teacher, Sherry Eby, to her voice coach, Robert Waterbury. That, doesn't that just want to make you belt out an aria? Isn't aria an opera word? It is. <laughs> okay. And no, it doesn't because oh. I don't sound anything. <laughs> no, none of us do, that's for sure. She's very talented. She is amazing. Yeah. And it's just awesome to have all this great talent here. Yeah, it was fun. She doesn't get home to Reading very often, maybe a week, a couple times a year or something like that. So it's fun. Fun chance to talk with her. Very cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's get it over to the Chiefs.